Artificial intelligence is going to impact our world at an accelerating rate. Where steam engines replaced physical labor during the Industrial Revolution, smart algorithms will start replacing mental labor in what some have dubbed the second machine age. Which sectors of industry and government will be affected within the next decade? In the automotive sector, self-driving cars will fill our roads while drones will deliver our packages. And the emergence of self-driving cars may make many unemployed, but also save thousands of lives and increase mobility for disabled and senior citizens. In healthcare, algorithmic doctors will have absorbed all the scientific literature and studied millions of patient records and as a result may become more reliable in diagnosis and treatment planning than our human counterparts. Again, this has the potential to save many thousands of lives and reduce suffering. In manufacturing, smart factories will be able to predict when machines will break down and need replacement. Algorithms will monitor the quality of products and manufacturing processes will become highly optimized to boost productivity. In law, algorithmic lawyers will have a comprehensive understanding of all the legal documents ever produced and apply advanced reasoning to build the best possible defense. This type of legal service may level the playing field between the poor and the rich in terms of legal representation. In the financial sector, fintech companies may find new ways to provide loans based on accurate predictions on whether someone is likely to default on the loan. Also, new services for managing your bank account and other assets will emerge, as well as smarter algorithms to detect fraud. As a final example, I mentioned security, where algorithms may predict where crime is likely to happen and dispatch surveillance teams to prevent these crimes from actually happening. A particularly frightening version of this predictive policing was the topic of the movie Minority Report. These and many similar developments in other economic and public sectors are likely to result in a significant disruption of our labor markets, replacing manual labor by smart algorithms in one area, but creating new job opportunities in others. As a society, we may need to rethink how we prepare ourselves for these changes. Education is going to play a prominent role in reschooling our workforce for the new jobs that will emerge. Universities may need to invest more in massive open online courses, such as the one you're watching now, and other easily accessible and agile forms of education to facilitate this transition. I also like to encourage teaching computer science already at a very early age. In this digital age where people spend many hours per day behind computers and smartphones, I find it positively strange that many among us are still digital illiterates. We may also witness the emergence of an ecosystem of self-employed workers and small startup companies in which people can quickly bring new ideas to fruition. Such an ecosystem might be able to respond much faster to disruptive changes in the labor market and find its new opportunities. Artificial intelligence also poses important risks for our society. How do we guarantee privacy in a time where personal data is so easily shared? We may need new frameworks and policies for deciding who owns personal data created by interacting with websites, social media, banks, supermarkets, and so on. In addition, new privacy-preserving data analysis tools need to be developed to guarantee that the analysis of data will not be able to reveal sensitive information about any individual. Another issue we must urgently address is how we will more equally divide the wealth generated by the increased productivity. The cost of copying software is almost nothing, resulting in possibly extreme returns for the lucky few. Do we need a basic income for everyone to redistribute wealth? The advantage would be that people can use this social safety net to re-educate themselves or take time to turn creative ideas into new products and services. Finally, according to some, the ultimate threat posed by AI is what they call the singularity. 
Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking have even gone so far as to claim that AI could spill the end of the human race. There is no doubt that powerful technology in the hands of the wrong people is dangerous. But we must not exaggerate. We are nowhere near a superintelligence that could decide to exterminate humanity. But thinking about these somewhat philosophical questions and having a public debate about them is definitely advisable. On the bright side, today's technology is ready to revolutionize healthcare and transportation, among others, potentially saving millions of lives each year. I say let's turn that dream into reality.